Carlo, and today we are going to be talking about Ada that was once before it, when it hit the uh, Nicaragua area was a Category 4, some people say a Category 5, but now it's a tropical depression, it will be a tropical storm next update, and it's expected to hit the eastern Florida panhandle, but before that, hit southern Florida, most likely. Hello, here is the uh, uh, satellite imagery visible, but uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of convection, but it's really not much as it is right now in tropical depression. Convection is when there is in the middle of the storm, a lot of times, very uh, warm and well cool, and it is a sign that it's strengthening. You can see thick cloud cover when you have uh, lower when you have lots of convection, it means the storm strength. Here is infrared uh, satellite imagery, and as you, can see, as you can see, there is also a bit of convection showing on that. And there is a large area where it's actually kind of looking strong. That That's why I think it could be a tropical storm pretty soon, as there is a lot of uh, convection, and that could force those, and there's lots of winds 50 miles per hour as of now so we could end up getting tropical storm as of the recon hello and here is all the data on tropical depression ada location at 18 degrees north and 85.5 degrees west or north east of the yucatan peninsula maximum winds of 30 knots and a minimum central pressure of 1002 millibars with environmental pressure of 1006 millibars Radius of circulation is at 180 nanometers. And the radius of um, maximum winds is at 80 nanometers. Now here is some of the spaghetti models and they show it skimming South Florida, kind of going around the eastern coast and hitting the eastern panhandle potentially. It doesn't go, some of them don't go quite as far enough for that but here is the other spaghetti models and they show it hitting the panhandle and also skimming southern florida and kind of going around the coast hello and we are looking at the intensity guidance and it goes up to a strong tropical storm only one model shows it becoming a hurricane, the COTI model, which the past several years has been really overestimating storms. But still, it is going to be a moderate to strong category, um, tropical storm. The potential new disturbance is probably going to be only a category one hurricane, if not that, a tropical storm. I actually really doubt that it will be a category one 1003 millibars as you can see it's at least in good uh instability high instability but the low pressure system is in tons of wind shear so that's just gonna weaken it and then its velocity is fairly high but still it's, the wind shear is gonna cut it off now i don't want to get too much of predicting it because this is in a whopping 252 hours or 1 p.m on november 17th 2020. Even beyond that, the new disturbance is in cooler sea surface temperatures, but tropical depression Ada is in moderate temperatures, but it's still going to get a bit cut off by wind shear, so it's not going to get too, too strong. And also, it has some land interaction and all that stuff. Here is the uh, chart showing whether we're in La Nina or El Nino, and we are currently in La Nina. Now here is the uh, sea surface temperature anomaly seven day change. It is dropping. Um, cooling sea surface temperatures means the hurricane season is cooling off in a way, but uh, there are still a few areas in the Atlantic that are actually warming. So we still need to keep an eye out as there could potentially be December uh, hurricanes and uh, uh, one more major hurricane potentially in November. Here, as you can see, we have 
quite above average sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic. Bye, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe if you like my weather related content, and why not throw a comment down below if you have something to say or a question slash concern about these systems. Also, if you uh, know anybody who could be in the track of this storm or needs to pay attention, share it with them.